We help busy over 40s get in shape in 30 days with only 30 minutes of kettlebell training per week. Grab your free ebook to find out how we do this. Type yes in the comments or check the link in our bio or description. If you are over 40, you're self-employed, you own a business, or you have an intense job, you have a hectic family and business life, you don't want to spend hours in the gym, right? That's the reason why kettlebells are so awesome. This 30-minute kettlebell workout that I'm showing you today is enough for the whole week. And I guarantee you, if you do this workout that I'm showing you right now, for the next 30 days, at least once a week, you will feel some drastic changes. But before we get started, if you wanna do this kettlebell workout in a follow along format, check the first link in the description. Grüß Betrand, Gregory von Leben Stark here. Let's jump right into kettlebell workout of the week, number 222. It's a chipper workout. Now, what does chipper mean? We have a lot of volume. So because we have a lot of volume, we want to chip away at the reps or at the exercises. Because when you look at these exercises and the reps in total, you think, oh my God, that's 90, 120, 140, that's 150 reps. Are you crazy? Yes, I'm crazy, but hey, you will be able to pull through. Let's check out the exercises. Number one is 50 hand-to-hand -hand swings. Number two is 40 cleans, which is 20 per side. Number three is 30 press, 15 per side, then 20 goblet squats. And finally, we have 10 one pump burpees for the ladies and 10 two pump burpees for the guys. You set the timer for 12 minutes and then you chip away at these exercises and the reps. Once you have finished all exercises, you wanna start from the top again. So maybe you finish all these exercises after eight minutes, then you have four minutes left on the clock and then you start from the top. After you've done the 12 minutes, you add 90 seconds of rest, which equals one round, and we do two rounds total. Now this wouldn't be a solid labor stock workout if I didn't give you a proper finisher at the end. At the end, we're gonna gauge into a alternating half snatch for two and a half minutes. Exercise number one, the hand-to-hand -hand swing, watch. This is how we do the exercise. Half a meter distance to the kettlebell to get started. I swing it between my legs to make full contact with my body. Then I hip thrust the weight upwards. As soon as I reach the apex position, I'm switching sides. Then I let gravity set in, wait for my arm to reconnect with my body, and I go back into the hinge. Exercise number two, the clean. Similar to the swing, I hip thrust the weight upwards with the only difference that instead of letting the kettlebell travel horizontally, I pull it up in a vertical trajectory, then I insert my full hand inside the kettlebell window in a diagonal manner, then I attach it to my frame, rack the bell close to my body. Next up, the press. So I have the kettlebell in that rack position where the bell rests in the nest, then I dip down into my knees, then I hip thrust the weight upwards into that vertical stance using the propulsion power from my hips, similar to the swing, so the kettlebell starts flying, and as soon as it lands overhead, it lands in the top fixation where I drill my upper arm into my shoulder blade for more stability. Next up is the goblet squat. Now, depending on your hip structure, you might be able to go down full ATG like I can, or maybe you stop up here. It doesn't matter. Just allow full flexion and full bending and don't limit your joints. Now, as soon as I have the kettlebell up in the sandwich grip, I go down as far as I can, then I come back up, squeeze the glutes at the top, and especially in the bottom position, I have to keep my abs tight because you feel it that in that position, everything's crunching, so you wanna be able to have this upper body position, push the chest up, shoulders back, and work with a straight posture. And finally, we have, as of lately, my favorite bodyweight exercise, the one pump burpee. Now ladies, one pump burpee works like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Guys, we do two pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, boom. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of an advanced version of the burpee. As soon as we reach that bottom position of the push up. Doesn't matter if it's one or two, from here, I want to be able to explode up, boom, and land in the bottom position of the squat. If that's not possible for you, here's the lighter version. 
And if that's not possible for you, we can go even a step further down below. I believe the burpee is a powerful exercise and if you exert a lot of control and you work according to your fitness level and according to your body type, it's going to be a powerful exercise that's going to give you a lot of bang for your buck. The protocol as well as most of the exercises are rather geared towards strength endurance. What this means is that even though you might still build some muscle and strength, it is rather geared towards strength endurance. Now if this doesn't feel to you that way, if you're like, Gregory, I'm dying while I'm doing this workout. You maybe don't have the necessary required fitness level yet, or you're still lacking technique. But I guarantee you the beautiful thing about kettlebells is once you master technique, and once you get this appropriate fitness level that is required to be able to power through these, ex through these exercises and feel that your heart is working more than your muscles, then you are reaching the pinnacle of kettlebell training. And once you've reached this pinnacle, you can then decide, okay, what kind of protocol and what kind of exercises do I want to use to rather build muscle, build strength or build endurance? Because while the kettlebell is one of the best generalist tools ever that touches all bases of human performance, I still think that you can tip the scale towards these human qualities depending on your intent. Here's the next thing that you have to do. Clean and press that like and subscribe button. Share with a friend who's also interested in kettlebells. And if you made it this far, consider signing up for kettlebell Plus, hundreds of follow along workouts, tutorials, skill lessons, everything that you've been dreaming of, of a solid kettlebell membership. And the best thing about it, you can get started for only $1.